Hello students, welcome back. In this session we are going to discuss about uh, projections of solids inclined to both planes. Uh, I am considering uh, NDBAR textbook and the uh, exercise number 13B and the problem 1 uh, where a rectangular block of 75 mm and 55 mm and 25 thick has a hole of 30 mm diameter drilled centrally through its largest face. Draw the projections when the block has 50 mm long side parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP and it has an axis of hole inclined at 60 degrees to the HP. So for this question we are going to solve the problem today. So let me write down the given data for this problem. Uh, this would be exercise 13b problem number 1. And the given data for this is rectangular block of dimensions 75, 50 and 25. And it has a hole of diameter 30 mm drilled centrally. Through largest phrase. And the 50 mm long edge is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. So for this problem we have to draw the projections right now. And we have one more data over here that the whole axis is 60 degrees to the HP. So we have write down the all the given data over here from the question. Now let us start with the actual diagram. I'll take the reference line that is XY over here. So, when the, the question, the 50 mm long edge is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. So, let us consider first this one, perpendicular to HP means this is the condition where I have to draw the line over here, right. mm long line it is perpendicular to VP this let us consider this as a VP and this as a HP so this is perpendicular to VP and now as we consider the height this is parallel to HP and if this is a 50 this would be obviously 75 And we have a hole drilled centrally on the largest face. This is the largest face over here. So I have to consider the center of this one. Uh, I'll be taking a reference line to find out the center. How to find out the center of the any of the figure? Uh, for any of the rectangular or quadrilateral, just draw the diagonals for the opposite corners. You will be getting uh, the center. Now I'll be taking the 30 mm diameter the diameter is 30 the radius would be obviously 15 right so we have a hole inside the largest piece now I will project this to the opposite view. We have finished with the HP. The thickness of the block is 25 mm. 25, 
and 25 right so I'll be projecting this circle over here and circle has an axis now as we are looking in this direction we can see this whole surface but we can't see this hole so for that I'll be drawing hidden lines over there I'll be drawing the hidden lines over there so let us uh, represent the dimensions over here This is 25, the thickness of the block, and this will be the width of the block, 50, and this is the uh, length of the block, 75, and this would be the diameter of the hole drilled centrally on the largest face. This is diameter 30. Right, so we have finished the initial figure of this uh, rectangular block with the centrally hole. Now coming to this one the whole axis is 60 degrees inclined to the HP means wherever we see the angle in HP that can be seen in front view right in this direction we have to draw the 60 degrees line and we have to reproduce the same figure over here and then project this down so for this I'll be taking the 60 degrees line so I have picked the drafter for the 60 degrees I'll be drawing an array of theta is equal to 60 degrees. Now I have to reproduce the figure over here. So let us reproduce the figure for this point. So I'll be taking the axis that is uh, 75 by 2 is the 37.5 over here. So 37.5 right over here for this you can consider like this also or else you can go for arc method uh, measuring the same figure keep it here arc or else uh, because this is a uh, rectangle I can draw it directly uh, then measure this one this would be the 30 right so keep it 15 15 over here fifteen, and this would be the axis line axis line now I have to reproduce the same over here I have reproduced this, this one over here with the 60 degrees angle axis 60 degrees to the HP now I have to project this down so looking in this direction I can see this surface totally so I can project that in a true projection uh, whatever the hidden part is there I can draw use this hidden line for drawing that so I'll be projecting this sidewards then from to, uh, front view to the top view right so I have projected from each and every corner or oh, I have uh, forgotten this axis this is axis line for this hole now we, I will be projecting this down
right? Then I have to locate the points. So this surface can be seen fully and this surface full. So let me dark it. So this surface is full, visible, this surface dark and this surface dark and we have a hole over here, uh, from here to here this whole top portion is visible. So I will be taking this point, this point, this point and this point for creating an whole top view over here. here whole top view is a full circle but here it would become an compressed circle that is an ellipse uh, you can use a freehand diagram or else French curve for drawing this one I will be using first freehand if you are satisfied with the freehand diagram then you can dart it Right, the top view has been finished. Now I have to go for the bottom. So there's the center over here and over here and over here and here. From here to here it is visible because there is a through hole and we can see this portion. So this portion would be dark and this portion would be hidden. And from here to here it would be hidden. So with this we have finished the projections of a rectangular block having a hole centrally and their axis is inclined at 60 degrees to the HP. I hope everyone understands this and follow the group regularly for updates in engineering drawing. Thanks for watching.